I'm ready for the challenge. Bring it on. Okay, we're bringing it on. So today's <laughs> pop quiz is going to be all about pop slang. So I want to know if you guys know your terms. We're going to be talking oh. everything from orbiting to HBIC. You know, do you guys actually know what all of these words mean? So Jordan and Felicia, I'm going to be putting you to the test. Are you ready? Okay. As ready as we're ever going to be. All right, um, cool. So, okay. Jordan, let's start with you. We're going to bring up two mystery cards right here, and I'm going to let you pick card one or card two. I'll take number one. All right, number one, the word is Barbie feet. Ooh. What do you think Barbie feet means? Oh, good luck, Jordan. Do you know <laughs> Barbie feet. Uh, I do not have a foot fetish. A girl I used to date did. It was kind of weird. Woo! Uh, Barbie We're feet learning so means, much about you today. <laughs> Barbie feet means uh, really bright colored uh, pedicure. Oh, that's a good guess. That's a good guess. Okay, but Barbie feet, let's pull up the definition. It is actually when you stand on your toes to make your legs look long in photos for Instagram. Women do that all the time. I know. So now there's a term for it. I know. It's kind of the best <laughs> trick ever. I mean, when I learned that, I was like, yes, of course. That's why we're wearing heels. We like our legs to look uh, long here. Barbie feet. We, there we go. Yeah, is that so your crew see, right there? I wish that was my crew. That's uh, Courtney say. Kardashian on the left side, and then we've got Kendall Jenner also. So, Am I allowed um, to say I want that to be my crew or I can't Barbie say that feet? anymore? You can say that. You can say that. So this is like, but what does this yeah. do? It makes your legs look longer? It makes your longer? legs look longer. And so Kendall Jenner obviously doesn't need to do this. She's six feet tall. She's a model. But she's still doing it. So I think the takeaway with this is we need to know about all these tricks so that either we can do them ourselves to make our legs uh -huh. look longer or we just know so that we don't think people look so much better in photos and why are we so short? You Which know? one's worse? Duck lips or Barbie feet? Duck lips is way worse. Oh, uh, duck lips is yeah, worse. That that was, end a long time that was seriously, it's 2014, guys. Yeah. Leave Jeez. it behind. That's what everybody does. <laughs> you're all lips. about the duck lips. All right, Felicia, yeah. you're up. I failed. Okay, all right, Shocker. I'll take the next card. You're up next. So, let, do you want you to take, take one? You took one, I'll take two. two. Card two. Okay, cool. perfect. <laughs> the word for card two is breadcrumbing. Damn, do you know what breadcrumbing means? Breadcrumbing. Um... Uh, Think it out. Think it out. Okay. Can, okay. okay. can I get a What's spelling? Up? I feel like it's right. a spelling. Can I get the can you origin? Use it? Can you use the word in a sentence yeah. for me? Oh, sure. Oh, that's um, a good one. He's totally breadcrumbing me right now. I'm annoyed. Uh, like stringing you along. Like he's giving you like bits and yes. pieces. Oh, he's leading yes. you on with exactly. breadcrumbs. So? Yeah. Bits and pieces of himself. Yeah, pretty much. So let's pull okay. up the Okay, good It's answer. like ghosting, but without ghosting, you're not totally disappearing on this one. You're just leaving little comments, little texts to check in every once in a while. And, you know, just kind of stringing the person along, but not yes. actually intending to take them okay. on a date. So, so one out of two. We did good. Yeah. We did okay. Did good for that. Okay, okay, so we're gonna go to a tiebreaker. Oh, okay. Oh, right. yeah, you're, not, you're not on my team. <laughs> All right. So whoever can get this one first, you win the game. All right. Um, so I'm gonna just do card one right here, and that is Bopo. Oh no. Bopo. Bopo. Buy one. B O P O. Buy one. Uh, I'm thinking Bogo's buy one get one. Um, <laughs> that's how corny I am. Here's your hint. It's uh, two words like abbreviated and put together. Uh, do they rhyme? No. Bopo. Okay. Uh, but Bopo sounds cute, right? Are they both actual words? It's a dance. Yeah, they are. Bopo. They are in Webster. Yeah. Okay. Bopo. All right. Buy one. Bopo. I know it's like Bopo. buy know. one, pop one. Oh, I don't that's know. cute. I know. That's a new that version up. of it. Uh, bottle pop. I don't know. <laughs> okay. okay. Let's pull up the definition. <laughs> Bopo means body positive, so it's an abbreviation oh for that. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so e there could be Bopo bloggers. It's basically loving yourself oh. and your body, not just for the aesthetics, but for what it does this for you. This is some millennial mumbo jumbo. But it's such a good thing. <laughs> Everybody loves self-esteem these days. <laughs> they do, and it's so good. You know, looking at your body is something other than just what it looks like aesthetically, but you know, can you climb stairs? Can you swim in the ocean? Can you go on a walk around a new city? It's pretty awesome. Okay. Carly, we've yeah. worked really hard for this audience to respect us and think we're cool. Thank you for blowing it in yeah, one second. Yeah, you guys know that. But I'll, you I'll tell you this, Bopo is a cool word. Oh, now we're Bopoing, everybody.